is to prove out a uh, compatible docking system and demonstrate that we have compatible operational procedures that will let two different countries dock in space. I think more than that, it has a, certainly a symbolic meaning of these two large powers uh, learning to work together in space, which I believe are the new seas of mankind, the new frontiers, and work out solutions to problems we're in. Uh, although we're very competitive, uh, we can still be cooperative and assist each other. And I think that this Apollo Soyuz program stands for just that. Oh, what a nice day. Oh, funny there's not a cloud in the sky, except in the Earth. They would have one task before they got to work exploring. The previous day, they had broken a rear fender of the rover. The dust thrown up was causing trouble. Apollo 16 commander, John Young, had worked that night in a pressure suit on a way to fix the fender. On the moon, the astronauts put it together. The fender section formed from a lunar map molded with tape then held in place with clamps from the Lunar Module Telescope. It was a repair that would last the remainder of the mission. Then Schmidt moved out to place one of several explosive packages which would be detonated after they left the moon, mapping the lunar subsurface, much as earthly geologists explore for oil. Cernan would pick him up in the rover for the drive to the first site on this traverse. Station two. They're somewhere along this rim where they can see. But they're, but they're dropping, Bill, so they must be coming across that. We're right where we wanted to be for station two. And it looks like a great place. Big blocks. It looks like quite a bit of variety from here. Different colors, anyway. Pretty hard, isn't it? That boat is going to roll. Man, that is hard. <laughs> Just don't stub your toe. The foreground features are somewhat different, simply because they were farther up under the hill, I think. But that, otherwise, that's remarkable. Pottery, it's obviously very, uh, very cohesive because it, it, uh, the bottom of the core is not smooth. It's very jaggedy and fragmental-like. Gene's finished with the, uh, the core tube. Then we should be able to go. If we get that all that. No. Dead coming. Jack Schmidt having a few problems. They would sample several locations on this EVA, okay. but none would cause more excitement than the find okay. of the crater called Shorty. Oh, hey! There is orange soil. Well, don't move it till I see it. It's all over. Orange! Don't move it till I see it. I've stirred it up with my feet. Hey, it is! I can see it from here. It's orange. That's the volcanic mix. Somebody unplugged silver. Fantastic, sports fans. It's trench time. Yeah, that, that is really orange. I think it's the most exciting we've uh, come across uh, since the uh, beginning of the uh, Apollo program. I believe that it's going to be the most rewarding of all the finds on Apollo. Uh, light gray material on either side. Oh, man, that's incredible. Say, hey, Gene, we're going to have to... That's incredible. You need to get a down sun color. There isn't enough time, Tony, to do it, no matter which way you want to do it. We need more time. We may have to split. We have to slip by then a little bit. Don't He's getting about, uh, about three centimeters of wax. They gotta leave at a certain time, regardless of what we got. Willing to give up all the light mantle stuff. They had to leave Shorty Crater and its orange soil and push on. Time, the enemy of the lunar investigator on the moon and on Earth. I can't believe we sampled the whole thing. I can't believe we sampled the whole thing right on. The precious minutes had run out. Return to the rover, 
drive back to the Challenger, close out EVA 2. We'd like you to leave immediately. Okay. My golly, this time goes fast. As the last Apollo crew worked on the moon, the engineers on Earth prepared for tomorrow's day in space. Uh, I have a model here of the space shuttle. As you see, it uh, resembles a Delawing airplane on top of a uh, propulsion system. system is going to be designed so all of the costly parts are reusable. Uh, now that we're beginning to understand space, we're beginning to understand uh, the potential, the economic potential, the need is to bring larger arrays of instrumentation up in space. The need to provide man with a real capability to work up in space. Okay, Bob, I'm on the pad, and it's about 4.30, a Wednesday afternoon, as I step out onto the plains of Taurus Lickdraw, beautiful valley. December 13th. Yesterday, they had explored the south end of the valley. Today, they would go north. Yeah, well, let's ask for an extension, hey, Jim. This is the last time for you to really go to bat for us, Jim. Sundance we know you'll do it for us. Send an extension for that Alice yeah. <laughs> Holy smiley! <laughs> Why are we on a slope? You okay? Man, that's rough country in there, isn't it? Well, must have been, must be well you're looking though. across Henry. Yeah. yeah. And let me see what it is. Apollo science will continue, and I'm sure much of the mysteries uh, will continue to come out for many years to come. But of this I'm sure, a man has learned that space is his to explore. And man will return to space to explore, to the moon and beyond. I'm firmly convinced that it's changed the whole basis of philosophy, including religion. I don't think that we've begun to see uh, what the era of spaceflight really is. It, uh, we've got a long way to go, and I hope I'm living when we leave this solar system on a venture to find another planet Earth. Yeah, Jack, when we finish with station, hey, we will have covered this whole valley from corner to corner. That was the idea. Once more, it was time. Gene Cernan and Jack Schmidt returned to the rover to drive back to Challenger. But before they left the surface of the moon, there would be a brief ceremony. It's a rock composed of many fragments of many sizes and many shapes. When we return this rock, or some of the others like it to Houston, We'd like to share a piece of this rock with so many of the countries throughout the world. We hope that this will be a symbol of what our feelings are, what the feelings of the Apollo program are, and a symbol of mankind that we can live in peace and harmony in the future. And a final word from the last man on the moon. I'd like to just let what I believe history will record that America's challenge of today has forged man's destiny of tomorrow. While Cernan and Schmidt closed out the last moonwalk and prepared for tomorrow's liftoff, Ron Evans worked on in orbit. Photograph, observe, describe. Keep operating the cameras and experiments in the science experiments bay. In orbit, as on the surface, the seconds are precious. Possibility at this stage. Uh, how is the experiment working now? Mechanically? Working extremely well. We're looking for subsurface geologic structure in the broad sense, layering, for example. 